New staff, Tracy collapsed as Megan forced her to work 18 hours a day to meet Netflix deadlines, but Megan did nothing. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have recruited an ex-reality star in a new move to turn their deal with Netflix into a great success. The couple have hired Tracy Ryerson as the new head of scripted content at Archwell Productions, amid rumours the Sussexes are pitching to Netflix to make a feminist-focused prequel to Charles Dickens' Great Expectations, which focuses on the world's most famous jilted bride, Miss Havisham, the Daily Mail reports. It comes after the royals suffered a blow as their lucrative Spotify deal was axed after the couple released just one podcast series. But Miss Ryerson, who shot to fame in the US after appearing on the reality series The Real L Word, is now on hand to help the couple with their next venture. Miss Ryerson, who's nicknamed t Ry by friends, could be tasked with working with Netflix who signed the couple up for a reported $100 million in 2020. There have been claims that Archwell is looking to hire writers to create feel-good shows, including romantic comedies for the streaming giant. Netflix is rumoured to be considering parting ways with the Sussexes after Spotify axed their deal already. According to a friend of Tracy Ryerson, Miss Ryerson was initially happy to work for Archwell Productions, but she was completely devastated both mentally and physically when Meghan forced her to work 18-hour days. Meghan's described as difficult and a devil, and forced a new staff to come up with many new ideas, as well as work around day and night to meet Netflix deadlines, while Meghan did nothing. Archwell staff say that working with the pair provides no end to headaches. It's why many staff left her company. It's a shock with a new staff like Tracy Ryerson. This new hire is a last-minute effort to save the Netflix deal, and this new hire is a lightweight in the credentials department. All the reputable people left after a few months of working for them. Those people also commanded high salaries that Madam just couldn't afford anymore. She's scraping the bottom of the talent bucket now, but honestly, even the talented people in her employment couldn't produce enjoyable popular products. Probably because Megan was standing in the way. So, how does she expect some basically unknown lightweight to achieve anything at all? In addition, another source also said that Megan is looking to expand her reach. She's taking advantage of LGBT in order to release her new project. Maybe Miss Ryerson, who's a lesbian herself, has been hired to draft a show with a leading lesbian character. Tracy Ryerson also worked as head of TV for Rare Birds, the production company behind Peaky Blinders and describes herself on social media as a TV producer, sometimes actress, always Instamom. The Real L Word was the first reality show to follow the lives of a group of lesbian and bisexual women in Los Angeles, and spanned for four seasons, finishing in 2012. 